Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I think this is part 16 of my Resident Evil Hardcore Difficulty, Resident Evil Village Hardcore Difficulty Let's Play. This is either going to be the last part or the penultimate part, depends how long the video is, it might be a bit longer than 30 minutes. But I just want to say, I'm not sure if you guys can hear it, but my laptop sounds like it's going to take off. I've had this Asus laptop for about five years, well it's just over five years now, and for me with technology I always say the five year plan, you know, in the midst of a... Planned benevolence, planned benevolence, holy shit, planned obsolescence culture. <laughs> um, five years is a decent amount of time. What I'm saying right here is my laptop in the last couple of months has started to show signs of age and it's time for a new recording rig. I've been told by people I should just get a Mac, but I'm a stubborn piece of shit and I don't want to get one. Speaking Show of stubborn pieces of shit. I'm Bryce, this is Alpha. Where is Miranda right now? Still to serve on the side. Whatever she's doing, she's staying put. God damn. It really is you. I'm glad you saved me. Why are you here? I was caught. In Houston experiments. In the flesh. What's the situation up there? Kind of a war going on. Nothing we can't handle. Don't get distracted. Stick to the mission. I'm headed to the ceremony site. Wait. You can't leave me here. You promised, damn it. You said that you would keep us safe. We did everything that you asked. We moved over here, everything. And I didn't care. So long as we were together. So you tell me, where is my husband? Where is my daughter? Ethan is gone. I couldn't save him, but I can save Rose. Come on, it's not safe here after all. What do you mean he's gone? He's dead. I'm sorry, Mia, but we have to leave. We have to destroy this village. No! You're wrong. I tried to keep this a secret, but... You don't understand how special he is. God, this upcoming cutscene annoys me so much because you've got to hold up on the controller. And just hearing this whiny little bitch's voice annoys me as well from the seventh game. The flashbacks from that game, which I do not like. But this just annoys me, this cutscene, big time. It lasts a long time. There's a lot of lower drop here late in the game. A lot of lower. Did I get here? God, freezing. This shit, my body. Dead? Uh, I mean, Miranda. She. Uh, no. I still have to save Rose. Rose? <laughs> it wasn't Miranda. You were always dead. What are you saying? I can still. Uh, Didn't 
think it was weird? No matter how much you got hurt. Remember. Three years ago, the Baker House. You were murdered by Jack. You died there three years ago. That's that's impossible. No way. You shouldn't even be able to walk around. Quit messing with my head. You shouldn't be walking. Bro, you! What, what am I? I... I... I did all that. <laughs> Rose, Mia, I... Daughter. You're already dead. <laughs> dead. <laughs> I, I will save Rose. <sighs> At last, he awakes. Where am I? My carriage, Ethan. You were having a nightmare. Duke? Your battle with Heisenberg was a sight to see. But to think Miranda would show herself. How long have I been out? Not long till dawn. Duke, I need a favor. Yeah, take me to Miranda. I assumed as much, and I'm already on the way. We should arrive shortly. Thank you. <laughs> but Ethan, are you sure of this? Your body is, well, falling apart. <sighs> yes. Foolish of me to ask. Speaking of foolish questions, who or what are you? <laughs> Even I can't quite answer that. We're here. I owe you one. Mr. Winters, I'm afraid you can't return to your old world any longer. Are you ready? Yeah. I have to be. I gotta go. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, let's do this shit. Let's check out the Duke's horses first. Is it just horse? Is there two there? No, there's just one. So yeah, I don't know if there's any hidden loot around here. I don't believe there is. So oh, look at this, a lecture area, but there's nothing here anywhere. 
We can only go agonizingly slowly at this moment in time. Now there's going to be a bit more resources. I'm a little bit nervous. Three explosive rounds. Five sniper bullets. We've got a lot of sniper ammo. You get more sniper bullets in this game than you do shotgun shells. And speaking of shotgun shells, we've got ten more there. We've got a first aid med. Now, the Magnum, we've got four bullets there, we've got ten there, and if I'm right in saying... Oh, there you go, the Wolfsbane Long Barrel. Or oh, for its increased firepower, so I don't think it gives you more ammo. Nevertheless, I'm willing to use four bullets and then attach it, see if it'll give me free ammo, I don't know if it will. I've got four med kits. Now, during this fight, the game will drip feed you ammo, but not health. And as you can see... Health is more of a priority here. Mine's not that useful. Pipe bombs, slightly more useful, but not that useful. We've got eight explosive rounds, which is really good. Flashes, I think, are shite. There's a phase of the fight where it goes dark, and that's where we'll be using the shotgun. I'll be peppering it with a handgun. The sniper is so important. The magnum is also so important. It is a boss which isn't as bad as the Heisenberg boss. It's okay, but ultimately I'm not a huge fan either. And it's one of these fights where, unlike a masterpiece, for example, like The Evil Within, where the game doesn't care about any potential dialogue from the boss, <laughs> like the Al Amalgam Alpha, for example, like obviously that boss can't talk, he's a big fucking 10 ton monster, but uh, you can end it immediately, and it's a really hard boss. But this is the kind of boss where there are waves in which you have to wait them out before you can kill the boss. I don't like those kinds of bosses much. This is your last chance. This is indeed our last chance. We've got a bit more money here to play with. I'm going to sell the lockpicks as well oh, because... The assemblage of life and machine. I can feel Lord Heisenberg's essence through it. Shit. Right, so that's everything. You've got I'm 200... Victoria Coram. Whatever that means. Uh, I don't need the baggage, as you can see on Hardcore. You don't really need the last one. We will purchase the last med kit. We sure will. There is no point here in not... He's got 10 bullets. I may as well kind of take them all. <laughs> but we'll take a lot anyway. We'll take a lot of shotties because I'm going to be blasting like a motherfucker during this fight. It's going absolutely this crazy. Be, our last meeting. be sure you have all you need. V what, uh, the red dot sight increases firepower and rate of fire 42,000. Now, if I remember correctly, yeah, look at that. This, wow, I can increase the firepower of this. Like, oh, wow. Jesus, look at these late game upgrades, man. This is crazy. I feel like all this shit happens way too late in the game. Now, I can increase the firepower in the shotty. 80 out of 80 is 160. I've got 14 magnum shots. I'm going to equal... Yeah, I'm going to go for... 160. Oh, I can't do much with this, can I? Fuck. How much was that upgrade to the shotgun, the red dot sight? 42. Oh, I wish I just had a bit more. Commotion I've lost an entire territory to transact in. Shut up, you prick. Oh. Okay, so firepower there to level 4. I could go for the sniper firepower, but I'm not. I'm going to go for the handgun firepower. And all I've got now is the let's go rate of fire in this. Mm -hmm. What? Ah, oh, it's fine. All finished. Firepower is pretty good, apart from the shotgun, which kind of sucks ass. Please be well. Thanks. But yeah, this isn't a game where you can really max all these particular weapons out. If you save the other guns, you can probably max them out more. I don't exactly know if the max output of like the previous shotgun and handgun are better than the ones that I've got now. My upgrades are okay here, but they're not perfect. But, you know, this ain't a walkthrough, so I'm no expert at this game. This is all my third proper time playing the game. In, in new game, anyway, not new game plus. But I really like the ambience here and the visuals, absolutely beautiful. The game's going to drop down a zombie or two in front of me. In fact, I think there's like four all together. I can run past them all apart from the last one, which I might just blast with a shotty. This boss fight, 
I think on my first playthrough, I died about seven or eight times. Never mind. I think when I replayed this on the Series X, I think I died twice and did it on the third attempt. Let's see how we get on. Okay, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. So, with this fight, there's many waves, like I said, uh, different stages, and there's one particular very, very vulgar attack where she'll go in the air and jump down and, like... Will be I, I don't know how to avoid it. Um... Rose is mine! What the fuck? Indeed. Oh my lord, how can I avoid that? Please do not worry for little Rose. I assure you I'll provide her with <laughs> Okay, so that's an awful start. Uh, so now you can die. What is with the double swipe? I've never seen that. I can barely see if I'm hurting her though. Wow, bloody hell. I moved across the map, she still nearly got me. As you can tell, also, I just can't tell if I'm doing damage. Oh god, she's becoming an ostrich. Here we go. I'm gonna blast her with Magnum. Now die! One more hit. You want to try and... I know this is so damn obvious, but... You want to try and hold on to your health kits as long as you can here. I'm just going to lob in some. Got to shoot these meatballs in the air. Hold still, that means I'm not moving... Still, or oh, not saying still, that's it. After all, everyone dies. Amanda dropping facts on Miranda even. Now I'm on the move though, and yet I still take damage. Now I've improved the firepower so much. Yeah, it doesn't really look like anything's changed. These meatballs will do quite substantial damage. Ah, you bastard. Oh my god. That is so fucking stupid, man. Having to reload there just completely fucks me over. Such vital. 
When life gives you shotgun shells, start blasting the shotgun. Hold still. Oh great mega mice. Hear my prayer. Right, big meatball. Bringing out the grenade launcher. Kind of forgot about the grenade launcher. Right, next phase. Back in black. Miranda's been uh, away too long. Now it's good to be back. I think it's time you let in mind. No, I think we can all see though that I avoided that. The hell I will. Die, 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 die. That's exactly what I did the first time, but we got a different result. <laughs> I think I'm getting her there, but it's hard to know for certain. As soon as I see her spawn in, I'm running to the right. Right, she's making a barricade now. Meatballs of fire, fuck off. Meatballs of fire. I've got a heal. I don't know where she is. Why do you eat it? Surely you have no need to stab. Oh my lord. Can I lob another pipe bomb at her maybe? I don't know if that's gonna do any damage additionally, but if it does. I'm gonna throw him now while she's just standing there. May as well. Let's just equip this now. We don't get any extra ammo in it. Okay. A damn god, you psycho! Cease! I've never seen a human live without his heart. Are you sure you're The Magnum just moved the fight into the next phase, I think. Meatballs of fire. I could ask you the same question. Fuck off. This? I'm nearly out of ammo. Ever think the problem might be you, Miranda? You're not capable of real love. Oh really? Oh, that destroys all three at once. But it's probably a waste of ammo. I don't know where she is. I don't know where she is, and yet she's just swooping down, hitting me. Oh, the swipe. Oh, the lack of ammo. That's the motherfucker attack. No scope. Oh shit, we've done it. Holy fuck, first time boys, we've done it. But it's not over yet, Snake. It's not over yet. And now you've got to keep pummeling her, which is nerve-wracking, because if you're out of ammo, I've never died here, but... You gotta stick, keep attacking her, and as you can see, she's ready to attack you, and indeed did just attack me. Oh god, I wouldn't want to die though. But ladies and gentlemen, it's done. First attempt, and despite the gameplay being absolutely atrocious at times during this playthrough, we've only died four times. Get shot on. Right, okay, later, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going off microphone until the credits. Rose!
Ethan! Ethan! Come on, Ethan. Come on, Ethan, wake up! Oh, no. Chris. Ethan. He did it. It's finished. I think we've finished each other. Ethan. We gotta move. Keep moving, Ethan. There's a bomb in that thing that'll blow this whole village sky high. Hey, look at me. When I hit this trigger, we can't be anywhere near it. Ah, damn it. Mia's waiting for you. She's alive, you hear me? Alive. Mia. I'm so sorry. I love you. Keep Rose safe. Hey, hey. Uh, hey. Uh, Tell yourself. Now come on, it's not that much further. Watch over her. Teach her to be strong. God damn it. Goodbye, Rosemary. Ethan. Go! Go! Take us up now! going on where what was that I told you to sit down where is he Chris what have you done he's gone so we could all escape. I'm sorry. Captain. You need to see this. BSAA didn't send soldiers. This is a bioweapon. The hell were they thinking? Orders, Captain. Pick up the rest of the squad. Plot a course for BSAA Europe HQ. Someone's got to pay. Village. Oh, 
Okay, ladies and gentlemen. It's a bit interesting one. When I do these projects, I look back on some with a lot of happiness and others with a lot of regret. This will be a, a mixture of the two. There's been rage and madness. But there's been a lot of fun as well. I'm not as good at this game as I'd like to be. I can't quite seem to master Capcom's gameplay. And I think if we're talking about the negatives first, I don't think Capcom's gameplay is up to standard compared to other survival horror games in the modern day. Not that there's many, but I'm comparing it to like The Last of Us, and which is more of a survival thriller, whatever. Um, you know, the classic Dead Space games, Evil Within. But I prefer this game's story to Seven. I prefer the gameplay. I prefer the game world. I prefer the story. The game looks nicer. The art style. I enjoy Duke. I enjoy the upgrade system. I enjoy the inventory system. I enjoy the treasures. The audio, the enemy. There's more enemies. There's more variety that's been lacking in Resi games after four. So there's a lot of good things to say here. Story-wise, obviously, let's talk a little bit. A Capcom are keeping the potential ideas open for the next game by talking about zombies or bio weapons being dropped in by the BSAA. They used to be a power for good, and obviously now maybe they're not. They're dropping in Zombos, so Chris is saying we're going to Europe, so it's like after Resi 3, the Code Veronica again. That's interesting. So that's a possibility, but then what we see after the credits could also lead us to a ninth game as well. Certain people have said that it's going to be like a trilogy. The Winter's Trilogy. And of course, obviously, we believe that Ethan is now gone, but is he really? I've said this before... I don't like it in games where they kill the characters off and then bring them all back. Because you never know who can get brought back at any time. It just retcons the story. And I don't like it. I think it's lazy. Gifts we gave, but more you took, she snarled. So more in turn is due. In a blink, the girl was trapped inside a mirror. This is cool. Her parents, though, had searched all day and at last arrived. With rampant rage, father fought the witch, while mother's loving touch shattered the dark enchantment. But the witch was strong, and father yelled, save our daughter. So mother bore their child to safety as the forest was consumed. Even now, the burnt forest is a grim reminder of father's sacrifice. To this day, any child who stares too long into the charred wasteland will be haunted by nightmares of getting lost while picking berries. Hello, Damn. So this um, background as well, very reminiscent of Resi 4's ending. We've got a knockoff Bjork as well. <laughs> it's quite rude of me to call her that. But this is very Bjorkish. I can't remember who does this uh, piece of music. But yeah, at the start of the game, the game will tell you the story of what's about to happen without you knowing it. And then at the end, gives a quick recap as well. I really like that. Very artistically well done. Now, I think if I skip the credits here, we will see the post credits scene. Yeah, okay. See you guys in a few minutes. boy will be able to touch the moon? Not that he can touch the moon, he's too far away. Wait, what if he has a rocket ship? Uh, okay, then he can touch it, but it'd be very, very cold. You were being silly. I don't <laughs> think the moon can touch. Hey, Dad. Happy birthday. Sorry I missed last week. I have a lot of tests coming up. You know how it is. Talk of the goddamn devil. Duty calls.
pulse. I love you. Yeah, I found her. Where else? The day of all days. <clears throat> we have a situation. You're needed, <laughs> Evelyn. Don't you ever call me that again. Whoa. Whoa, it was just a joke, Rose. I can show you things even Chris doesn't know I can do. We have a clear shot. Stand down. I can handle it. She's just a kid. I want you to keep it together, Rose. You're a lot like him, you know. I know. Hard to the core. So we're watching all cutscenes that took us seven hours and five minutes. Uh, I have absolutely no idea, but I predict that with the cutscenes taken out, we'd be about six hours to six hours fifteen. I'd like to say that the cutscenes would last about forty-five minutes to an hour-ish. So when I played this on the Series X for the first time after playing the PS4 version, having a long break from the game, it took me nine and a half hours. So I was going a lot slower. Uh, so yeah. I mean, if I played this again straight after, the gameplay would be probably a little bit better. Might be able to call it a, a walkthrough, but I've decided ultimately, and I did mention this in one of the earliest parts of the, the Let's Play, it wouldn't be a walkthrough because the quality wasn't quite good enough. The gameplay was too poor. Uh, I was letting it all go dark, as I always say, you know, getting a bit too angry and whatnot. And yeah, struggling with certain aspects of the game, not understanding enough to really call it a walkthrough. But I wanted to do this because I enjoy this game. And it's a game that I enjoy returning to. Now, I'm not sure I'll return to this once every six months like my ultimate classics and favourites. But the fact of the matter is, I wouldn't be that bothered about ever playing Resi 7 again. Maybe once in like a five year period or something. But this, I'll return to once a year or so, I think. I really enjoy the gameplay more so than 7. And I enjoy the balance. I love creepy survival horror slower and tension and all this kind of shit but you can have that and gunplay capcom here try to do a little bit of everything i laud them for that you know i think that they've got to be respected they've tried to please a bit of everyone they do listen to the fans as well so they will be looking at what people said about this game and it's going to be interesting to see where the series goes from here because they've kept their options open in regards to rose but if they carry on with her story, they're going 10... I mean, how old is she there? 15, 16? They're going far, far into the future. Which is risky and interesting and unexpected. And she's talking about Chris in that cutscene. He's going to be in his 60s by this point, at least. So, what is going on there? What did it mean when that guy said, I've got a clear shot? Who is he potentially shooting? How did that guy... Who is that guy? You know, there's a lot of questions here to be answered and... Ultimately, for me, what I would want with the next game isn't a continuation of this story. I'd like something fresh. I'd like to perhaps take on a role as a totally new character trying to take down BSAA Europe. I mean, this point in the franchise, the story is so convoluted. It's hard to say, you know, some people want a few older characters brought back. Maybe Rebecca Chambers. I don't know how she'd find herself there, but she hasn't been seen in a long time. We've not played as Jill in a new game for a long time. Resi 3 Remake obviously doesn't count. So... Who's exactly to say? Oh, wow, look at that. 
Oh, it's pure black for a few seconds. But I absolutely love this menu music, man. I just find this so captivating. Absolutely love it. The scarecrow there in the fields, in the village, the atmosphere. But over, overall, I give this game an 8 out of 10. I really like it. I don't adore it. But it's better than any other res here. Since 4, probably a bit better than Revelations 2. But Revelations 2 is really fun as well. Maybe they could have added a bit more puzzles and tension and atmosphere. Maybe there is a bit too co much combat by the end. But Resi 7 is just boring. And I don't enjoy the stealth. And I don't enjoy the gameplay of that game. In that it's boring. I just find it boring. You know, the, the games have always had combat. Guys, the old Silent Hill games, you had hundreds of handgun bullets from the start of the game. <laughs> A bit of a myth about a lack of ammo in some of these older Resi and Silent Hill games, but you know Resident Evil games have always been better in my opinion because of the, the better gameplay, and I do prefer. I don't know. I feel like the Evil Within got both so right, the combat of Resi and the game world of Silent Hill, without being as uh, as intriguing. From an ambiguous standpoint of something like Silent Hill. I don't think he quite nailed that. But I still obviously adore it. But anyway, ladies and gentlemen. Up next on the channel. In just less than a month. It's all the goings on at E3. If it is indeed E3. Jeff Keighley's Summer Game Fest. The Xbox Bethesda Showcase. I'll be reacting to them. I've got a Radiohead albums. Ranked worst to best to come. Elliot Smith and Nine Inch Nails, Reddish Painters to come as well within the next 12 months. I do one every 12, sorry, every four months. I've got a gaming pickups video probably a few months away. I only do one when I've purchased three, uh, sorry, five games and I've purchased three. I'm going to be purchasing one in a couple of weeks. I'll be four. Uh, and then after that, it's going to be a Max Payne 2. And then after that, it will be. Hopefully, fingers crossed, before the end of the year, Callisto Protocol, it's the game that I'm hyped about the most. If you love survival horror, check that shit out. And then alongside the Dead Space remake, Alan Wake 2 and A Plague Tale 2. All the twos, it seems. Uh, uh, when I get my PS5 as well, I don't have a PS5 right now, but when I get a PS5, I'm going to do a custom difficulty Let's Play of Last of Us 2 as well. On commentary, casual. It'll be a custom difficulty, so set between Herd and Survivor. Excited about that, to be honest with you. Although that game, the story and the characters and the pacing was all off, the gameplay and game world was still phenomenal. So thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.